Hey everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm going to show you the Bushwhacker. Now this is the 10FB model. It's the Bushwhacker Teardrop from Braxton Creek. And it's only 1,300 pounds, 13 foot 2 inches long, and it's going to cost you, give or take, $10,000. Such a deal. It's got some great features on it, and one of the things I like about this trailer is that everything I'm going to show you comes standard on it. No options, this is it. So, let's get started. So this bushwhacker has really wide doors, which is one thing I like. It has a magnetic catch that holds it open, so it's not gonna be blowing in the wind, and a diamond plate step that's permanently mounted, nothing you have to lift in and out. You'll notice this has got a lot of ground clearance here. Um, all the way down, you've got 14 inches of ground clearance. The 15 inch mud tires, this is a powder coated fender well here, so it's very sturdy. It's not gonna flex, not gonna bend if someone leans on it. And the aluminum wheel, the mud tires, just give it a real rugged look. The exterior on this trailer is an 040 aluminum, and of course it has the block foam insulation, very well built, nicely insulated. Now the gas port right here is a great place to connect an outside gas grill. If you'd like, it's gonna connect, of course, to the propane that's on the front. And right next to that is gonna be access to uh, the crank for putting up and down your spare tire that's mounted underneath. Again, 15 inch off-road tires. Uh, great standard feature here. Let's take a look at the kitchen in the back. Now in the back is everything you would want in an outdoor kitchen. Now, the first thing I noticed is how tall this is. So plenty of height underneath this hatch. Of course, I'm only five feet tall, so they all work for me, but not everyone has that experience. Now in this kitchen, you'll get the Coleman 12 volt refrigerator. So this is running off the battery and an easy access to get inside. It does have a little shelf that you can work with. You can turn it sideways if you want to when you're camping, but it is powered and it'll keep everything cool that you need in there. The sink right here has a sprayer port that will, you can use outside the sink or of course right in here doing dishes. You can take a shower, wash the dog, wash the kids, wash your feet off at the beach. Great feature and it also unhooks. Underneath the sink you have some storage here. Right now we have the crank handle. You do have uh, stabilizer jacks on the rear corners of this trailer. Lift this up. You've got a nice two burner stove on the left hand side. A nice tiled backsplash right there. Now this switch is actually going to turn on the water pump. Easy access when you're out here working at the sink. Shelf at the top for a few extras. Speakers because you have inside speakers and outside speakers on this trailer. And a 110 port right here in case you had anything else you needed to plug in set on the countertop and work within your kitchen. I like the openness of this kitchen. It's simple, but it's everything that you need. Now on the back side, the 20,000 BTU furnace is gonna keep you nice and toasty in this teardrop. And do have a detachable shore cord here for attaching at the campsite. And you can fill your water tank right here Again, this nice powder coated uh, fender. I think it also makes a great table when you're camping. There's never enough outside horizontal space to set things down. And doors on both sides that are gonna give you a nice airflow. Now both windows are gonna have uh, screens in them so you can open them up, get the airflow even if you have the doors closed. Porch lights right up above and the roof rack. 
Now this unit is six foot 10 inches tall to the top of the roof rack, so it can fit in most garages. In the front here, a port for the solar panel. If you have a portable solar panel that you'd like to use and keep your batteries charged while you're out boondocking, easy to plug it in right here, set it out in the sun, and keep everything running. And around the front, I really appreciate that they put a very large, very sturdy powder coated tray on the front because you could put two batteries up here, you could put more batteries if you wanted. You know, upgrading batteries for boondocking, very popular these days. You could also mount a generator up here on the front. You do have a single five gallon propane and standard hand crank jack with all of the uh, chains and plugs that you would expect. So much fun could be had with this trailer. Let's take a look inside. Now the 10FB version of this trailer has the mattresses. Now these are teddy bear mattresses. They're four inches thick, plush, super comfortable, and it makes a sleeping space that's 78 inches long, 58 inches wide. So you've got plenty of sleeping space in here for two people. Up in the front, some storage cabinets. You've got a door that opens and closes on both sides, and then the shelf on top with two lights and USB ports right in the middle. Speakers are on the edge for the interior and then an open shelf on the top. Lots of great use of space right here on the front. Fantastic fan on the roof so when you've opened these windows on the door you can get a lot of airflow in here when you're sleeping if you don't want to use the air conditioner. Now, the 5000 BTU air conditioner in the back is going to keep you very cool if you're plugged in at a campsite. And their 20,000 BTU furnace is going to have a thermostatic control just like your house, so it'll adjust the temperature in here to keep you nice and toasty, even in the coldest weather. Uh, just above that furnace, you're going to notice the converter, which has the breakers and fuses in it, and just to the right of that, the 120 plug. Cabinets up above on both sides and above the air conditioner. Let's take a look. They're about 10 inches deep. They're about 15 inches tall. Give you a lot of space in this small area. Up above, let's open that one because it actually has got plugs for a television. If you wanted to add a television to this, it's all set up for you right there. And there is a TV antenna on the top of this. So just grab that television, plug it in, and you're good to go. Now over on this side is the stereo with the Bluetooth hookup so you can stream from your phone very easily. HDMI hookup, everything you would need there. And of course it has outside speakers in the back kitchen and the two on the interior. Another 110 plug here and the LP uh, carbon monoxide detector. Light switch right up here for your porch light. So this is a very comfortable teardrop for two people. Now there was storage underneath these mattresses. So I am just going to stack them up and lift up the panel right here so you can see underneath. It's about three to four inches deep. It is padded. It's got a, a foam padding on the base of it and lots of great storage there. And that's on both sides. And in the back, let me see if I can get a picture of that. If you lift up that panel, there is more storage underneath. Mm -hmm.